All right, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mayank. I'm a second year student at HEC Paris specializing in marketing. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a little room tour of my room on campus. I'm actually gonna be moving out of this room next week. So by the time you watch this video, I would have already moved out. I haven't really like prepped a lot for this video. So my room kind of always looks like this. It's not like I've made it super clean just for the video or anything. This is just in its natural state. But yeah, of course I did tidy up just a little bit. Anyway, let's get started. First and foremost, this is the entrance. We've got a cupboard over here. This is the only cupboard in the entire room. I've got a little spot over there to hang my mask. And also from Ikea, I got this little door hanger thing, which is super useful because it allows me to hang all of my bags over here. So that's pretty awesome. And then I also have another door hanger thing over there, which I use for all of my jackets. And especially when my friends come over, it's, oh, it's, it's useful to have like these little hooks for them to all hang their jackets over there. All right, so that's it for the entryway. Let's get into the kitchen. Oh, wait, we're, we're already in the kitchen. No judgment on my dishes. I still need to do them. I'm really sorry. Uh, but yeah, this is basically what the kitchen looks like. It's kind of tiny. It's really small. Um, I've got I've got a sink over there. I've got this little counter space. I've got the stove, which is like it's got two burners, and um, and right below this entire situation, we've got this little cabinet, these two this like storage space to keep stuff. So that's cool. Right next to that, we got a little fridge, just a tiny little fridge. It's not that big, but mine's got a freezer as well, so that's cool. And then right above we have like this little shelf which allows us to store things and also it has a microwave so that's awesome. I got this I got this dish rack thing from IKEA which helps me store all of my dishes and I also got this toaster. The microwave was given along with the room. Oh and one last thing I also have this other little shelf which I got from IKEA just for 10 euros it wasn't that expensive and I use it to store all of my food that I access regularly. So I got all of my masalas and spices and condiments and stuff like that plus I have a kettle from Philips that I got in my first year from Amazon. Oh yeah in the kitchen I also have hooks to hang um, a so my saucepan and my wok so there's that. I also got hooks to hang um, my spatula my, 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 yeah, my spatula and the other thing, I don't know what it's called, but it's currently in the sink because it's dirty, so it's not there. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the toilet. It's nothing too complicated. It's just got a huge mirror. It's got a shower and it's pretty standard. It's a nice toilet. Okay, next up, let's walk into the living room. And we're in the living room. It's right over here. I've got this IKEA chair, which is, which I bought this year because I was like, you know, I'm gonna be spending 90% of my time in my room. So I wanted it to be comfortable. I wanted a spot to chill out in, which was not my desk. So I got that, it's, uh, it's really comfortable. Got that right next to it. I've got this other cabinet thing, which was given to us by HEC. So that was already in the room when I got here. Right next to that, I also have this other cabinet, which I actually got very recently. And then I've got my guitar, which I've had since my first year as well. I love this guitar. It's a baby Taylor BT2. Really, really like it. It's really small. I like that. Moving over to this side of the room, I've got these plants, which are actually not mine. A friend of mine gave them to me a couple of months ago. Uh, in November and then she went back home for quite a bit and she hasn't taken them back yet so they're still with me. I really like these plants but unfortunately they're not mine so I'm gonna have to give them back to my friend once she comes back. And this little table over here is again something that came with the room when I got here so this is again part of the room. Oh yeah one really cool thing in the living room I've got I've got these little decorations over here. That's a painting that was given to me by a good friend of mine. I have like these fairy lights in my room right? So let me just turn them on. Oh yeah, so, so the cool thing is that when I turn on these fairy lights, I, ba I basically made them go inside of these bottles. So I think that looks kind of cool. That's yeah, just want to share that. Oh yeah, another thing that I really like in this area is this candle over here. It's a Jo Malone candle. These are actually really, really expensive. That one candle alone is like 55 euros, but I got it for free when I was working at MAC Cosmetics. So that's, that's really, really nice. It smells amazing. 
And then I have like this lamp over here and this other one. I actually never turn on this part. It's always just this. So yeah, I like that. I got that lamp again from Ikea. It was again, not very expensive. Oh yeah, another thing that I want to show you is that actually right behind this chair and this table, since you can't actually see it from the room, I use this area to store things. So there's that. So you can see what that looks like as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not the cleanest, but no one sees it, so there's that. Moving on from the living room, let's now go to the study room. We've reached the study room. Um, so yeah, I've actually made a video about this space before. I've made a video about my desk setup a couple of months ago. You should go check it out. It should be there somewhere over here. But uh, there have been some updates to that. The first one is that I got a new MacBook Pro. It's, yeah, it's the new M1 MacBook. It's super exciting, super fast. I'm gonna make a video about this very, very soon. Aside from that, when I went to India last winter, I brought back with me my set of speakers, which I've had since I was in 12th grade. These speakers are amazing. They are actually, they're actually professional studio monitors, which I use for music production, but they're amazing to listen to music on and even watch movies and TV and stuff like that. So they're just great to have on my desk. The only downside is that they are huge. If you're interested, the model number of the speakers is M Audio BX5. And then on my desk, I also have an Xbox, which I actually have not even turned on in the last six months, because ever since I came to HEC, I don't know why, I just, I just have not felt like playing video games, but I still have it with me. So maybe when I move to Paris, I'm gonna start using it a bit more. And then I have a bunch of more plants on my desk as well. But those, actually two of those are again, my friends. Yeah, she gave me a lot of plants. Really grateful for that. It's awesome because it just makes my room look super pretty. And yeah, the third one is mine. I don't know why my plant is not doing that well. Like I took care of them the same, but her plant is doing really well. Mine is just not, I, I don't know why that happened. But yeah, aside from that, on the right side of my desk, I've also got this wall where I have all these cards and this one poster, one of the photos that I've taken, which I really, really like. And I just try to make the space really personal and you know, I, I, I just like sitting here a lot. So this chair that I have over here, this was not part of the room when I got here. This is again from Ikea. It cost 50 euros because the chair that HEC gave, that's over there, that's over here. Yeah, so this chair that HEC gave, it's not the most comfortable, like it does the job, but it's not the most comfortable. So I thought that again, since I'm spending most of my time in my room, I want a slightly more comfortable chair to sit on. So I got this one. I would have wanted to get a, a nicer chair from Ikea, but they wouldn't ship them to HEC before. So this was the only one that they were shipped. So I just got this. Under my desk over there, I, that's also where I store like my suitcases and stuff because there isn't actually a lot of storage in this room. Except for, except for that, the cupboard at the entrance, is, there's no, actually not a lot of storage other than that. So that's actually a problem. All right, so moving on from the study room to the bedroom and we're here. All right, so this is the bedroom. Pretty simple, got a single bed. I've got my favorite pillow over there. I think it's really cute. I've had it for a couple of years, brought it back from India last time. On the wall, I have like this little, thread which on from which I hang my postcards these are postcards of photos that I've taken so I really so I really really like these under the bed actually there is more storage so that's pretty cool there's like two big drawers in which you can keep stuff like I keep my clothes there and also I have this bookshelf which is now kept right next to my bed because earlier this was kept over there but since I got the cabinet I had to move it somewhere so I just moved it next to the bed the bookshelf is again from Ikea. It's not the best one, but it did the job. And on the bookshelf, I have a bunch of books. I have this little fan that kept me alive last summer. I have a Lego set, which is actually the, the Central Perk Cafe from Friends. So I think that one's really, really cool. And then below that, I have a bunch of these boxes, which I use to, which I use to like arrange all of my stuff. Like I have this one shoe box which is just filled with electronic stuff like cables and dongles and stuff like that. Below that, I've got other IKEA boxes which are filled with other random things. And I have a humidifier because in the winter, it gets pretty dry and a humidifier is super useful. And that's it for the bedroom. Now let's move on to the balcony. Let's head outside. All right, so it's super cool that the rooms actually come with a balcony. I think that's pretty awesome. It's like an extra added bonus that I did not expect. And 
but yeah there's no there's not much real use for the balcony however because most of the year it's pretty cold and you can't really sit outside but when it gets warm it's nice you can be outside to work you can be outside to eat some people on the campus even have like little tables that they put outside so that's kind of cool but i i didn't really get one of those because i thought that like most of the academic year is pretty cold anyway so is that what i've done is the chair that i got from the from agc like along with the room i just kept it outside because i didn't want it occupying space inside and i and i also actually use this balcony to store like some cardboard boxes and stuff like that but yeah i don't actually really use the balcony too much it's a nice view though like what i really like about this place is that it's got this huge glass window which allows me to like okay which basically allows a lot of natural light to come in but also gives an amazing view from inside of the room so that's really really awesome i really like that it's a bit annoying these days because in the evening time the sun shines directly inside my room so that's a bit annoying but but other than that i love this window i feel like that's my favorite part of the room all right guys that was it for the room tour let me know if you liked it the next video i make is probably going to be from my new apartment in paris so i'm really excited to share that with you guys as well and If you like this video give it a thumbs up it really helps me out a lot also consider hitting that subscribe button because I'll be uploading more videos like this very very regularly I'm sorry I haven't been so 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 super active recently because the last couple of weeks the last couple of weeks and months of the semester are getting really hectic I have to write my thesis as well which is really starting to worry me a little bit so that's why please accept my apologies if I'm not that regular but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one